Morning everybody. I just thought I'd do a quick video on how to remove the front plate on Royal Arrow. Um, I suppose it's probably the same for any of these lever types like this. I think they made a quiet like this too. So your shells on your sides will just, you know, come off in two halves. This thing is filthy in here. I mean, I got to take it all apart. Look at that. Somebody used wheel bearing grease and must have mushed it in with a finger. Ah, oh, it's just disgusting. But this comes off and these two knobs are what you got to remove up here instead of there being like, you know, uh, uh, on the older ones, you don't have to remove all that, that pin in there. There's just two, what size is this here? Um, seven thirty seconds nuts. But you're going to be reverse, so like right is loosening, okay, and left would be tightening if you're doing it from the front direction back. Um, if that makes sense. And it's only because cause you're loosening it. If we had it in this direction and we're doing it, it would make sense. You know, left loosen, right tight. But you're facing it from the front on, and it might be just reverse of what you think. So now that I've said all that, now I forgot. <laughs> Good thing we're facing it from the back. And so you want to just unthread the little nuts on the backs of these. You don't have to take out all the all the linkage uh, underneath, because I, th I thought at first, oh, you must have to take, and then I looked at that and I thought, no, that's really nice and easy, you just undo them here, we'll get one out and you'll get the idea, okay, so there's that, and this should just pull right out, so when you set your stuff aside, just put that on like that, Okay, you got one more on the other side, which is your, um, I guess that's your ribbon reverse one. And you got to get on the nut to loosen it, Ken. There we go. Maybe I can do it with my finger now. Cool. Probably one of those things when you back it up far enough, you could easily drop it in there too. So, just try not to. There we go. So this one's going to be a little longer. So you even you can't really mess up if you store everything in one cup. See, they're different. Um, now you just now you just pop out the screws, and that front plate should just come right off. So you got one up at the top. Yeah, I think somebody asked me this question, so that's why I'm recording this, because I can see how that could be, how that could be a tricky little thing. These bottoms, yeah, you don't even have to unscrew them all the way, the bottom ones. You can just unscrew them a thread or so, thread or two, and at least on that side, let's see, over here, and they'll just lift up. They're meant to slide on and down, just like with the, uh, some of the ones on the sides there. Come on. Let's see. Yep. Both sides slide on, so you got that. So you don't have to undo them on both sides. You just take them back a thread or two, and you're in. So that's how you un take off the front plate and uh, get into one of them. All right. Hope that solves it. Take care.